1879, Thomas Edison invented the incandescent light bulb. This invention, along with others, began a new era of electricity and ushered in the second industrial revolution. Industry needed electricity to grow, become more streamlined and efficient, and people needed electricity for lighting and common household necessities. Edison had already developed a DC system for transmitting and producing electricity, but there were few major flaws. The electricity could only be transmitted about a mile before another station was needed, and the system required costly maintenance and was expensive to put in place. This is where Tesla's AC electrical system came in. Tesla was born precisely midnight between July 9th and July 10th, 1856. He was born of Serbian parents on the edge of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He was extremely sensitive to sounds and pressure, but also had a nearly photographic memory. Tesla began inventing at an early age and was fascinated by descriptions of Niagara. He dreamt of one day harnessing the power of the falls. He often experienced flashes of light in which pictures and ideas raced through his head. He could build an invention in his mind before even writing anything down. Tesla contracted a severe case of cholera while he was 17, and his father agreed to send him to study engineering because of the near-death experience. He began his studies at the Austrian Polytechnic School in 1875, where he was first introduced to the DC motor and dynamo. He surprised his professors with his work ethic, especially when dealing with electricity, and soon saw that this machine had severe mechanical problems and that the commutator brushes needed expensive and regular replacement. Alternating current existed, but there was no motor to make it useful, and AC seemed like a useless invention. He first began thinking of an AC induction motor when he asked his professor if AC current would function more smoothly. His professor replied by saying, Mr. Tesla may accomplish great things, but he certainly will never do this. Tesla overcame his initial embarrassment and continued to ponder the idea. After Tesla's father died in 1880, he was forced to move to Budapest and get a job in a phone company where he worked so hard that he soon suffered a severe breakdown. The doctors offered no hope of recovery. Despite these setbacks, Tesla's sensitivity could have been one reason for his unconscious to reveal his revolutionary new motor design. When walking through a park with his friend during a sunset in 1882, the idea came to him like a flash of lightning. He drew his new motor in the sand as his friend watched. His motor created a magnetic field by powering the coils of a motor in different phases. The resulting forces of magnetic attraction and repulsion would move the motor in a circle. This entire process occurring in the new motor was accomplished with alternating currents. This motor would soon change industry and society everywhere. Unaware of the troubles of immigrants to the U.S. at the time, Tesla arrived in New York with little more than an idea and a recommendation letter from Charles Batchelor, an Edison associate from Europe. America was in an economic slump, and wealthy investors were looking for ideas and new ways to make money. The driving force behind inventions at this time was not their ingenuity or inventiveness, but their price. Edison was already building stations and supplying DC current to the country. Edison, the wizard of Menlo Park, was more of a businessman than an inventor, and measured an invention's success by how much money it brought in. Tesla came to Edison looking for work and an opportunity to unleash his idea. Edison rejected the notion of an AC electrical system, but hired Tesla anyway to do regular repairs for his company. Tesla claimed that Edison had promised him $50,000 if he could make his dynamos more efficient while keeping them in DC. Tesla worked day and night to finish the job, and when it was finally completed, Edison responded by saying, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Tesla left, and the economic slump became a depression. From 1886 to 1887, Tesla had to work as a construction worker with little pay, digging ditches for Edison's underground wires, still dreaming of revealing his new system. Soon, however, Tesla's luck turned when A.K. Brown, an alternating current enthusiast and owner of the Western Union Telegraph Company, was convinced that the AC motor would work. Brown saw the future in AC, and the Tesla Electric Company was born. Brown paid for Tesla's lab, and the company had the specific goal of developing and unveiling the system that the inventor had created years before. Tesla patented his motor and Brown soon helped Tesla give a lecture to the American Institute of Electrical Engineers in 1888 titled, A New System of Alternate Current Motors and Transformers. 
22 patents had been awarded to Tesla over the next five years, and his entire system was finally complete. One of the few who realized the potential of AC was the Pittsburgh industrialist George Westinghouse. Westinghouse was a businessman, and similar to Edison in his ideals, and like Tesla, dreamt of one day harnessing the power of Niagara Falls. Tesla sold his patents to Westinghouse and became a consultant for the Westinghouse firm. Outraged that Westinghouse was working with Tesla's system, Edison proceeded to propagate claims that AC was dangerous. He began electrocuting animals and even prisoners with alternating currents. The War of the Currents had begun, and with the Chicago World's Fair and Columbian Exposition dangerously close, both Edison and Westinghouse had no time to waste. The fair would use over 6,000 lights, and the exhibits in the fair would use even more power. The Edison Company and the Thompson-Houston Company combined to form General Electric. Both GE and Westinghouse were bidding on who could build their system in the fair for the least amount of money. Edison's smallest offer was nearly $1 million. Westinghouse offered Tesla's AC system for only $500,000. Westinghouse and Tesla's system was chosen over Edison's because of the lower cost. One of the greatest innovations in history, the AC electrical system, achieved its position because of price. Tesla's AC generators and current would prove that the system would work on a large scale. 100,000 eager spectators looked on, and when President Cleveland pressed the button, the World's Fair was brilliantly lit up and powered because of AC. Nearly everyone realized that direct current was obsolete, and at this moment, everyone, even Edison, realized that Tesla's genius and innovative system, along with Westinghouse's diligence, made it all possible. The Chicago World's Fair was the greatest spectacle of electricity the world had ever seen. J.P. Morgan, along with Lord Kelvin, was financing a project to find the best way to use the power of Niagara Falls. Morgan had already made his fortune and was looking for new investment ideas. Currently, Niagara was being harnessed by being channeled into canals to power water wheels in several factories, a primitive method. Lord Kelvin was skeptical of AC, but as soon as he visited the World's Fair and saw Tesla's AC in action, the investors promptly chose the Westinghouse team to build the generators and distribute the power using Tesla's system. This challenge for Westinghouse was daunting. The plan called for three 5,000 horsepower generators, the largest ever made. In 1895, the first generator started and the power was transmitted over distance and then lighted and powered the city of Buffalo. More generators were created in the falls and the power was transmitted an even longer distance to New York. Streetcars, business buildings, and even some homes were being powered with Tesla's system. Common people began to realize that Tesla's system could bring electricity to everyone. The War of the Currents was over. Tesla went on to make a system using AC to transmit energy around the world wirelessly using the natural resonance of the Earth and the upper atmosphere. Tesla received help from J.P. Morgan who financed the Wardenclyffe Tower, a tower made to transmit radio signals and energy across the Atlantic. But Morgan abandoned Tesla halfway through the project and the tower was dismantled. Without promotion and financing, his invention was worthless. Tesla also took part in the invention of radio. And despite the belief that Marconi had invented the radio, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 1943 that Tesla was actually responsible for the invention. Other Tesla visions and inventions included radar, electrotherapy, arc lights, lasers, and bladeless turbines. Most of these inventions less realized and commonly used than the AC system because they were less demanded by society and had little promotion. Innovation is a social and economic process. Every inventor unquestionably has a promoter, and the interaction between the two is critical to the impact of an innovation and its effect on the needs of society. Tesla's AC system, adopted and fiercely promoted by Westinghouse, won the War of the Currents and has quickly expanded ever since. The AC system began with Tesla's brilliance, then it was promoted by A.K. Brown and Westinghouse, and most of all, in this new era of electricity, Society had a great demand for a system like Tesla's. As Edison famously put it, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Without the work, an invention is nothing. But similarly, determination is useless without a cause. All inventions using electricity owe their existence to Tesla's system. Common people use the system at homes, and industry would have been devastated without widespread and affordable electricity, which is now taken for granted. The innovation of the AC electrical system brought about a huge change to the world, and has impacted society ever since the War of the Currents.